All right, guys, let's take a look at a limited edition Seiko. There's tons to choose from, I know, obviously, but this is the SPB253 retail price, $1,200, using the Movement 6R35, which has 70-hour power reserve and uh, a plus-minus of like 15 seconds or something like that. But my experience personally wearing some of these Seikos is they perform a lot better than what uh, some of their specs online might say. So uh, also big thanks to Exquisite Timepieces for showing this or sending this watch to me to share with you guys. And obviously I get to see it as well. So I'll put a link down below to their website. Check them out. Let them know I sent you. This watch here is like the 62 MAS. I know there's a few different sizes or two for shoot. Well, no, there's like three different sizes because there's the 8L one and then there's the larger one and then there's this size, which I think this size is probably the sweet spot and the price point is good. Um, there's a few different colorways of these, this size uh, SPB models. And this one's really fun if you're into or not into the black cases. Um, I typically don't wear black case watches, but this one's pretty cool with the warmer tones on it and then that orange i love that orange on there so 40 and a half millimeter case width here the lug to lug is a 47.4 millimeter you can see it's brushed on the sides here and it has drilled lugs it's only 13.8 millimeter thick that's including this single domed sapphire crystal that sits slightly proud of the bezel insert 20 millimeter lug width here so you'll have plenty of options for different straps Although it does come with two straps. It comes with this crazy, well-done woven fabric strap directly from Seiko with matching hardware. It is a little bit thicker, adds some thickness, but it is crazy comfortable. It'll also come with a black silicon strap with black hardware. So if you want to just put that on there, which is probably how I would wear it. Although these fabric straps are they're really cool. I'll show you when I put it on wrist. And it has a six and a half millimeter screw down crown, keeping it to 200 meter water depth rating. You have 120 click bezel on this. Very smooth, clean operation on that. Let's see, does it line up? This one looks like it lines up. Maybe a fraction to the right, but it basically lines up. Even the handset is blacked out, but it is both polished and brushed. If we zoom in, we can take a look at that. I mean, you can see it's definitely like blacked out, but with that polished and brushed faceted handset, the light still plays with it. And then of course you have that warmer cream tone to the indexes and the hour and second. And then you have that pop of orange on the minute and also the pip through 15 on the bezel insert. Very fun, very cool. And it is two different colors of loom. I can't wait to show you the loom shot at the end. Because I did this before with the MM200 Reduce that I had in a while ago. Um, and it, it, sh it blew me away. And this one's going to do the same thing. So uh, date window at 3 o'clock. I would have liked to see Seiko maybe um, warm up that date disc a little bit. I'm not asking them to match that. But like go with an off-white. Go a little bit warmer. You know. And I don't know if it's something to do with the ISO certification to keep the date. But how fun would it be to see a no-date diver from Seiko? Maybe that'll be something they do in the future. But regardless, this is what we're dealing with here. So limited edition, yes. But <laughs> there's 5,500 of these. So uh, it's going to take a while for the production of the limited edition to run out. This is number 1,856. There is some information on the back, which is a good proper way to do a limited edition. It says limited, give us what number we have, and Seiko does that here, so very cool. They also have their little Tsunami logo um, patch sewn right into the fabric. I mean, you can see that fabric is just of very high quality for sure. All right, let's zoom back out. I'll get this strap installed again, and then we'll put this on wrist, and then i got to show you the loom shots. Incredible. Um, also, Seiko. Laser engraved, I think, right there on that little keeper. Um, let's pop this on wrist. So I guess we're calling this the Black Series or Night Diver. Um, I don't know that Seiko really chooses any of that stuff. I think us fans choose that. So you'll see multiple variations of 
potential names out there in the wild. This is my problem I have with the fabric straps, guys. If it was a little bit shorter, it'd be, I think, better. But for me personally, but I, I'm i not uh, used to messing with them too much. But I love that the brown, dark chocolate brown color for the strap paired up with the earth tones or warmer color on the indexes and then that pop of orange. So there it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Now, of course, there's another way to wear this as well, but this is just the quick way that I do it and a lot of people do it. Um, but like I said, I'd probably just put it on this strap here, on this silicon strap or something like that, which they do, Seiko does a really good job too because they actually put a metal ring inside there. So these will last a very long time because the, uh, the spring bar isn't pulling on just the silicone. It actually has that metal inside there. So it's meant to last a long time, that is for sure. All right, right, let's. Uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to blast this a little bit with a UV light. You can kind of see there what we're expecting. Let's kill the lights and check the loom on this bad boy. Yeah. So you got that crazy cool blue loom on the indexes, which I don't know how they make off-white or tan look blue like this does. You have the green pip. So actually we have three different looms on this. You have the green pip and then you have that orange minute hand. I I don't know how they did it. I, I mean, I've seen orange loom in the past, but never this bright. Seiko has figured out a way to make the orange bright. And hopefully it's picking it up on camera. I don't think it is. But to the naked eye, it looks like a lightsaber orange just minute hand. It's, it's beautiful. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.